Welcome friends far and wide across the expanse of the earth. My name is Miss Click and I am so excited to bring you this video today. First off, I just want to say a huge thank you to the team at Nintendo of America for even making this video possible. They recently invited me to a Zoom call to get a first look at a demo of Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition, which is obviously what this video is about for those of you who saw the thumbnail or title and clicked on it. I just wanted to say, also as a disclaimer that I have not actually ever got to play the original Xenoblade Chronicles game. In fact, this will be my first dedicated decision to playing a Xenoblade game in general, and I'm very excited. The team at Nintendo actually was made aware that I haven't played a Xenoblade game before, and they were very kind and generous to go out of their way to help explain a lot of the changes that you will be seeing in this game. If you're new to the series, such as I, I'm sure that you're not gonna know a lot of the small quality of life differences, but they explained it to me in a way that I can therefore convey to you. For those of you who actually lived through the original game, I'm sure you can appreciate it even more than we can because you went through it. It was a preloaded demo, so normally with a demo they'll kind of have you play through and explain the world and the game as you go around, but with obviously all the COVID-19 things that have been going on, they made it a pre-recorded demo. They had it cut up in pieces for us, and it was already recorded from someone else's gameplay. So though we didn't get to try it ourselves, we did get to see the world. We get to see a couple cutscenes and gameplay throughout various parts of the game. Not too far as to um, show too many spoilers, I think at this point for a lot of people, when you watch this game uh, and see how it unfolds in front of you and how it has developed over time is gonna be more on how certain scenes and facial expressions and moments are gonna be shown through the characters. If you don't know how you feel about this game, I hope I can do my best to possibly get you excited for this game because there aren't that many coming out this year. Without further ado, I'm gonna go ahead and get started, let you see what this game looks like and kind of talk through the changes, what I've noticed, my thoughts and opinions on it, and yeah. Hope you enjoy. If you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If not, give it a thumbs down. Consider subscribing for content from me and or things that Nintendo uh, is very generous enough to send our way. And we'll see you later. Okay, let's go. Kind of wanted to add another disclaimer. Everything you're going to be seeing are things that have either been shown before in trailers or it's bits and pieces of the demo that I was shown and kind of walked through when I had my time with the team at Nintendo of America. So there's no major spoilers in reality, but if you are new to the series and you want to know absolutely nothing, feel free to put this on audio only or look away to another tab. First off, I just want to get the obvious details out of the way. This game looks fantastic from the original and quite honestly, it gives it the character that I personally believe the game deserved when it first came out way back when. Rather than continuing on with trying to be super realistic, they definitely went with the more Xenoblade Chronicles 2, cartoony, anime inspired kind of style. Minus the ridiculous proportions, if you know what I mean. And honestly, I believe it was the right call. I guess you could say, I'm really feeling it. <laughs> I got you. All of the main and prominent characters in the definitive edition are basically remade from the ground up. You'll notice that they have much more life in their eyes, well, really in their entire face. When they smile, their eyes light up. When they're angry, you can see their brow furrow. As someone who has been a little more harsh, on the original's looks, this is the treatment that I truly believe this game deserves. Other elements, NPCs, and enemies in the game that might not have necessarily been remade or rebuilt, they've essentially been upscaled or up instead, which honestly, for me personally, if you hadn't have told me, I probably wouldn't have been able to notice that they weren't given the same kind of style of makeover. For anyone who knows me, you know I'm also a huge musician and therefore a big soundtrack buff. Music can really make or break a game for me in terms of experience and delivery. Xenoblade in general has a really just solid soundtrack, but for the definitive edition, all 90 plus original tracks have either been rearranged, remixed, or remastered entirely, giving a fresh and glorious flavor to the game. If you're not a big fan of everything being different from the original, you can also access the actual original tracks and listen to them instead. The original voice actors and voice lines are back as well, so it definitely keeps its sense of charm that the original had, which I greatly appreciate. Because again, this is a remake. Moving on to combat, it's still real-time cooldown-based battles where positioning and special moves or skill sets are the key. The newer edition definitely has some quality of life improvements made to the system. You'll notice small details like symbols or explanation marks that pop up 
when you're in the right position or they help hint towards your next proper skill to use either when soloing or with teammates. These skills can either be used to help attack enemies or, of course, use more defensively to help save your allies. It's a nice touch for sanity's sake, especially if you're trying to learn the system. Shulk and the team will still auto-attack as long as you are within range, so it still gives you time to play your placement, your skills, and your combos just right. Leveling up and acquiring new skills will also remain much of the same, so building and strengthening your characters should feel similar and familiar to many returning players. Another cool feature they added in as well are symbols above the different enemy types to help indicate how to antagonize or to avoid them. For example, the enemies that attack in herds, once one of them is provoked, they have sort of a brown shield icon. Or enemies that will attack once they've spotted you within a certain distance will kind of have this bluish eye icon that you will see above their heads. Some of them even have like a wavelength kind of symbol, meaning that you essentially just have to be quieter to sneak past them without drawing too much attention, otherwise they'll hear you and obviously start attacking you. The navigation has also seen a lot of quality of life improvements from the original. The minimap now has a yellow path indicating your way to the next objective versus just leaving you to wander around aimlessly, whether it be main quests or side quests. You can also access the map from a larger point of view instead of a zoomed in version. It allows you to have a lot more freedom for planning and perspective. And that's definitely something that the team was very excited to kind of announce because that wasn't something you could have in the original. The UI, HUD, and Menu functions have also been upgraded pretty drastically. Menus will actually pause time and pop up in the Definitive Edition versus only showing up in the bottom portion of the screen while the game is still running in live time. Not only did the original menu kind of overpopulate the bottom of the screen, it also had proven to be stressful to players to have to make your decisions on the fly without much time to decide. You'll be able to tell what you're looking at and choosing in the menu with these updates, which I'm sure people new to the series might appreciate a little bit more, seeing as many of us who are new probably don't have a lot of the elements memorized like a lot of hardcore returning fans might. Team management has also been made to look a lot more streamlined and obviously the bottom with the battle bar buttons, whatever you want to call it down below, looks a lot more polished and easier to understand. In regards to the new content found in Future Connected, we didn't get to talk or see anything from it as it's completely new and exclusive additions to the after events of the original game, essentially. Very excited though to see how they continue on to the storyline and I, I think it's really awesome that they've gotten the original voice actors to revisit the new content even after all these years. There will be some additional characters that you uh, will be seeing for the first time, so they did express that they were very excited that you guys would get to meet these new characters. So who's to say that they still don't have more up their sleeves in regards to everything that is the definitive edition? Honestly, I think the main takeaway from all of this is that we must remember that this is a definitive edition. It is essentially a remake as much one-to-one -one as it can be. This isn't gonna go off from its original storyline or development, unlike some games that we've played in recent times. It's mainly here to update and to bring in new players who might not have had the chance to play it way back on the Wii. It's also definitely a kind of love letter and callback to the big time fans who got that teaser of Shulk and Fiora in the upgraded challenges kind of in Xenoblade Chronicles 2. Overall, I just have to say it's looking like a beautiful tribute and I cannot wait to fully experience the game myself when it launches. So, you know, thanks to Nintendo for giving us this opportunity and honestly, I, I can't wait to get my hands on it. So that's basically my experience as a whole with the demo and the team at Nintendo of America today. I hope you guys enjoyed what you saw. I hope perhaps it excited you a little bit more or maybe, you know, you're still on the fence about it. If for any reason you feel like you have a question or a concern with this game, feel free to write it in the comments below and either I or some other passionate fans myself will try to do our best to answer it. If you liked this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If not, give it a thumbs down. Leave a comment below. What are you most excited for what are some changes that you like that they brought what are some things that you miss about the original feel free to let us know and get the discussion going i can't wait to be playing this game yes we will be playing it on twitch so for those of you who are asking about that feel free to come hang out there the link to my twitch will be down below in the description would love 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 to see you there that's gonna be it for me today though thank you so much for watching we will see you in the next one stay awesome stay beautiful 
and stay savage. Ta-ta for now, y'all. Love ya!